Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today um, I thought I'd come and have a little bit of a chat with you while I kit up my cushions. I've been wanting to get these cushion covers done for a while. Um, I did do an unboxing on them mm, quite a while ago, sometime last year. <gasps> last year, goodness me, 2022. Right, so I'm going to see what I can get done while we just have a little bit of a chat. So I've got the owl cushion to kit up which i love look at those eyes sorry about the glare the flash has come on on my uh, camera because it's a little bit dark here again just for a change lovely dark and dismal uk at the moment hey, hello welcome to winter <laughs> so that's my owl and then i've got my beautiful black and white tiger to do uh, i'm just looking at these horrible cushion covers that are uh, this plastic cover that is sewn in I'm gonna have to be really careful taking that out because you end up with it the plastic stuck I hate it when they put the covers on and they've sewn the plastic into the cover but anyway we'll have a look at that as we come to it and then the hummingbird with the flower these are a huge uh, cushion cover they're 44 centimeters by 44 centimeters so you need quite a big cushion to go inside them, uh, but we'll see where we are, as I say, once I get them done. But I do want to get them done. They will need sealing, but they're not going to be washable because I've found that if you wash something when it's been sealed, it just washes it away and all the beads drop off and you don't want those in your washing machine. So let's see what I've got. Um, I've not done anything... Uh, with the tiger ones at the minute there's only seven colors but they are huge bags so i haven't quite decided what to do with that one yet where to put those i've got my little 14 pots all done uh, for the owl and uh, this one which is the hummingbird with the flower actually has 26 colours so I've got that one uh, all sorted out there but there are some special ABs in these as well and an odd one I think has got gems in it I think the owl one might have gems in it as well so what I've done is photocopy all of the little key codes I did write on the bottom what they all were as well so I didn't muddle them up because that's something that I could quite easily do and uh, then I used my Xyron sticker maker and just put the copy of it through the Xyron sticker maker and then they just make into little stickers to pop on the top of my little bottles there and this is my uh, 30 case that I've got with the nice I do like using this one I just love the colours of it it just makes me smile whenever I see my butterflies and my little hearts and everything so I thought seeing as the hummingbird is similar colours I'll colour match a little bit and do it that way. So let's crack on. Uh, I'll put the little key code in there so that I don't lose it. Just fold the top bit a little bit there. It's put in the little um, netted part at the top there. And we'll crack on and get some of these put away and have a bit of a chat. Okay, so I hope everybody's doing okay and is recovering from uh, the new year celebrations if you have any and uh, christmas celebrations uh, we're still plowing our way through all the sweets that we had sorry i'm just looking for number one start at the right side okay these are very big bags really big bags with uh, some of them haven't got a lot of drills in uh, these cushion covers were actually from Timney Arts on AliExpress and again I will put the links down below for them. So let's see if we can get these into these pots without having a Liz spillage. Okay, yeah, we're still eating uh, chocolates and things left over from Christmas. Hubby did come home before the New Year, so yeah, that was good. Uh, we are having a lot of hospital appointments, so I've absolutely no idea where we are, what day of the week it is. We've been to hospital twice this week. Um, once to see a consultant who has ordered lots and lots of tests and uh, procedures and things. So we've had one... Well, Hubby's had one procedure done yesterday um, and that took four hours. So yeah, we uh, 
you know, we're quite uh, just getting so used to the hospital at the moment. No, what I actually did, <laughs> what I actually did, um, I took some diamond painting with me because I thought, right, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be. But I also took uh, Millie, our little Scotty Terrier with me as well, Scotty Dog, because I wasn't sure, you know, how long uh, things were going to take. And uh, yes, because it was like our first visit. So she came along, but it was very, very cold. So what I did, I popped up to my mum and dad's. Um, it can take us an hour to get to the hospital. Uh, depending on traffic and there's lots of roadworks around our city at the moment so I decided well rather than going all the way home because I wasn't allowed to stay in with him while he had his treatment um, I would pop up to my mum and dad so we're about 15 minutes away from the hospital so we went there and uh, Millie of course as soon as she gets uh, anywhere and as soon as she sees my dad, oh my goodness, my dad is just literally um, there to play with her. You know, his sole purpose in life, according to Millie, is to play games with her. So she <laughs> she makes a beeline for him and wants to play all the time. Um, she found an old squeaky ball in the garage, so she was running around with that and playing with that, which was quite funny. And then she came into the house and, uh, yeah, she uh, wanted the television on. And my dad has recorded um, Toy Story for Millie. If uh, you're familiar, oh, lost a drill there, look, there's one escaped. Let's get that one in there. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, Millie, our little Scottish Terrier and my videos, you will know that she absolutely loves television. And her favourite television programme or her favourite film to watch is Toy Story. Toy Story 2 in particular is the one that she mostly favours. And if you put that on, she will sit and watch it for the whole time. Uh, I think it's about an hour and a half, two hours, the film. Uh, my dad only had Toy Story 3 yesterday, but she did sit and watch most of it. But it's just so funny when she goes into the room. She just goes and sits next to the television and looks at it because my mum and dad didn't have the television on. Um, and uh, she doesn't just looks around at you as if to say, well, come on then, you know, I'm, I'm here, I want the television on. Uh, and uh, yeah, my mum says, <laughs> she thinks the grandkids are uh, less demanding than the dog. <laughs> so anyway, she sat there and she watched that and then she had a bit of a sleep and... Uh, Hubby rang up a couple of times, you know, he was really well looked after. The staff at the hospital are really, really good. And, uh, well, at that hospital that he goes to are really good. Um, where's number eight then? Is that number? Oh, yeah, it is number eight. I'm looking at this thinking it's number nine. Oh, Liz, what are you like? What are you like? So, yeah, and he had sandwiches and all sorts. And I thought, oh. Thanks a lot. You know, you're getting cups of tea and sandwiches and everything while you sat there. <laughs> and they were all really, I say, lovely nurses, really looked after him, all quite young girls. I said to him, oh, you should be so lucky. <laughs> Don't expect this treatment at home. <laughs> okay, so that's it over for this week. And then we're back again next week. Oh, my goodness our lives are just hospitals and tests and doctors and doctors ringing up and appointments and i just don't know whether i'm coming or going at the moment thank goodness for diamond painting uh, is asleep at the moment so i've uh, nipped away quickly to just come and have a quick chat and get these kitted up because i don't want to do these but yes i was sat at my mum's yesterday she was sat doing her jigsaw she's mad on jigsaws loves jigsaws I used to do them a lot when I was younger and my mum and I have sat and done lots of jigsaws together uh, and it's always who's going to put the last piece in and I do think my mum used to let me put the last piece in quite a bit really. You get away with a lot don't you when you're a kid. <laughs> right we want number 11 now so where's number 11? Here? There's loads of pinks in this one I love the colours in this and they're looking pretty good drills as well not much trash. So yeah, that was uh, going to my mum's and I just took a really mini 
sort of special drill diamond painting to do that was um, on a board. I think I've done an unboxing of it. It was um, just a little square sort of tiger and it had all the drills in the pack with it. So I just took that and sat and did some of that for a while. And it just passes the time, takes your mind off horrible things that may be going on. But uh, yeah, and then we got home later on in the afternoon. So that was pretty good. But yeah, it's uh, just been one of those weeks. And I think next week's going to be the same. We've got uh, hospital appointments next week as well. Uh, a bit more invasive tests next week, so it won't quite be as nice. Um, which is why I'm sort of popping on now. Get a couple of videos done today. I've got a lot of unboxing videos to do that I need to catch up on that uh, I haven't got done in the last week or so. Because since Hubby came out of hospital, he's needed a lit quite a bit more looking after. So, you know, obviously that's my first priority. Um, I've not got a lot of diamond painting done either, actually. I've found that um, my eyes have been very, very tired and I've just not been able to sit and concentrate. Um, we've been watching more and more films, to be fair, you know, just uh, trying to do that. But uh, I've fallen asleep and missed quite a few films as well. So I've <laughs> had to go back and watch the ending again. <laughs> I'm sure the makers of the films are quite happy, you know, that they've got somebody watching it more than once. Um, they maybe wouldn't be happy if they thought we'd fallen asleep during the film. You know, not because the film was boring, just because we're, we're not particularly sleeping at the minute. Hopefully, um, after, yes, uh, after Hubby's procedure yesterday, he might be a little bit less tired. And, uh, you know, you might feel a little bit better, but we'll see how we go. We'll just take each day as it comes at the moment. Um, and, uh, yeah, just have a bit of fun. Uh, we're trying to find him some slippers that will stay on his feet. We've been through various different ones because um, he can't straighten his leg. And uh, he tends to, as he's moving his wheelchair, use his tiptoes to move around. This is until we eventually get this electric wheelchair that's supposed to be coming. Uh, we rang up at the beginning of the week and they knew nothing about it. So we're waiting for another call back. We're now Friday, haha, <laughs> from Monday, waiting for another call back um, to find out what's going on because, you know, they've been and measured him up for this custom wheelchair that they're supposed to have made. And you ring the place that's doing it and they know nothing about it. But because we've had so many hospital appointments, um, we've had other things to worry about. But yeah, so Hubby's uh, needing a pair of slippers that will stay on his foot and not come off his heel so that he can scoot along. Um, and we're on about our third or fourth pair at the moment that don't seem to be suitable. So it's not going great gun show, is it? <laughs> but we'll find a pair. We will find a pair. Well, to be fair, he does only need one slipper. Um but it is actually cheaper to buy a pair of slippers and not use one than it is to just buy one slipper. So, go figure. Right, A19. So, A19, we've got that one. So, yep, yeah, that's been our mission. We've just ordered another pair again today and we'll see where we go from there. Yeah, in fact, we've actually, um, I am quite tall and... Uh, Hubby is, well, actually smaller than me. He's a couple of inches in height smaller than me. Um, so we're actually in the same shoe size, would you believe? So he's actually tried my slippers, but that didn't seem to work out either. Um, I tend to use like the mule slippers. I like fly foots. Um, the Skechers ones. I've always had those because I, I tend to like a heel. Um, I don't like working in anything flat because I find that my legs ache at the back too much. So, yeah, he's uh, walking around in my... Well, he was, sorry, scooting around in my slippers. Uh, <laughs> when we uh, first got together, um, I always take my shoes off when I come in. He used to have his work shoes on and he used to take them off and then go and polish them and put them straight away. I just used to take mine off and leave them at the back door. You know, he's um, 
a lot more particular than I am, shall we say. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so because my slippers were next to the back door, if you wanted to go out into the dustbin, you used to put my shoes on and go to the dustbin. So I used to say, what if the neighbours catch you tottering around in my high heel shoes? <laughs> and you say, well, it's easier than getting mine out of uh, Yeah, he has been known to go tottering out to the dustbin. Mind you, I don't wear really high. I mean, oh, gosh, when I was younger, I used to wear four inch heels and I am five foot ten. So that used to make me very tall. Um, and I used to be looking down. You could always tell which uh, chaps, which men had uh, ball patches because I could see them looking down on them from my four inch heels and my five foot ten height. And uh, yeah, but as I've got older, um, I think there'll be two, three, in no, two inches, I think is about the highest. I go on heels now. I have had an odd pair dress up um, three inches, but I don't even think I could think about standing, let alone walking in four inch heels these days. Uh, I'm not that agile anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it used to be uh, pretty good going out on a night out and being taller than most of the people in the nightclubs and things, you know, you sort of... Uh, dancing round or you stood at the bar you tend to get noticed more because you can see over the top of everybody else <laughs> oh dear right so these last two are a lovely ab color so we have the ab white and the ab green which is super sparkly so number 25 and they've all fitted in one pot as well which is great so that's number 25. Get that one put away. Okay. Yeah, we've certainly uh, had some fun going out on a night round the town when we were younger. And, uh, yeah. Right, number 25. Number 26, sorry, the last one. The last one was 25, wasn't it? Lovely sparkly. They do look nice gems, these, I must admit. Um, do seem to be uh, getting a nice quality with these. I have heard good things about Timony Arts, so we will see as we get these done. So that is the first one kitted up, and I am just going to carry on and do the second one while I've got some time to do it. So again, I photocopied the little legend there. And I think they maybe need one more, uh, more packets than, uh, sorry, more bottles, packets, what's in my brain thinking of? They need more bottles, uh, they may take more than one, some of these, because these do look quite fat ones. So, let's start, oh heck, so they're not numbered, they're all in DNC number. Oh, and they're not particularly, oh, they are in order, so let's see, so. Okay, this one is an AB yellow, so they put the ABs at the front on this one, and that is number one, and that is 130, so I'm going to have to be extra careful doing these. Oh, this is going to be fun. That's a different way of doing things. Right, so, let's see if all these will fit, they should do, oh, it's a lovely bright yellow colour. Do like that. This is the owl one. So the owl has got a nice AB sparkle in it. Okay. And number two is 310. So yeah, I'm gonna have to really watch what I'm doing here. Concentrate Liz frame, as my mother used to say. <laughs> oh look, and now I've not opened the tub before I've done this. Yeah, the weather has been terrible. We've got a lot of frost, and uh, the garden is very crinkly at the moment. There's lots and lots of jobs I need to do. Um, oh, speaking of ABs, I did decide to put all my AB gems, get them all together, and try and get organised, and put each AB in one of these little pots. And I started. And I've got um, a case, my little drawers, that have got 30 pots in each. And I've got more 
than uh, 60 colours. Um, but that also includes the square gems that I got from uh, Katia at Christmas in my advent calendar. So I've not got enough space. Um, this is one lot. I just thought it would be nice to be able to see the gems, to see the colours um, when you take them out so you know more what you're looking for. I do need to label some of these up because um, some of them, the colours are new. Some of them... Uh, are ones that I won from Diamond Art Studio UK and um, they were doing a giveaway and I won a pack of 10 different uh, AB gems so they're all round ones and that one's full and then I've got some more in here that are ABs and then I've got like the AB gems and the square gems in here as well so I need more space and I'm having to think now, do I want to buy more drawers, which these do take up more space than having them in little bags as I do my other drill storage, or what am I going to do? So I've got to have another think about that as well. Hey ho! So it's all good fun in the diamond painting world when you suddenly start, have a really good idea and you think, yeah, they'll look really good. And then you find you haven't got enough room don't really want to go back to having them um, in the bags because I want to be able to see them. Uh, I suppose I could put the bags in, uh, maybe get a clear case, a clear box to put them in. I don't know. Maybe I will get the little drawers. I mean, those little drawers, the housing that they come in, the little case that goes around the drawers, um, it does actually have a place so that you can hang them on the wall it's got like nail holes to hang them on the wall so maybe they won't take up quite so much space if i put them on the wall but then do i really want to put them on the wall mm, it's all up in the air at the moment right seven eighteen is the next one okay so that's uh, my dilemma at the moment what do you do with your ab gems do you have them in separate bags or do you just keep them as they came or because of course the ones that I got from Katia did I get five or six different ones at Christmas uh, were already in these little bottles in the advent calendar so I've just sort of left them in there and that's where I got the idea from you know to put them in little cases like that because I liked them I like being able to see what colours they are I didn't realise I had so many different coloured ones. Um, I knew I had quite a few ABs because I've done a lot of special drill canvases. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I do a lot of the um, craft buddy kits, crystal art kits. And they tend to have quite a few ABs, particularly if you do the greetings cards. Right, that's 783. And uh, so I knew I had a few, but I certainly didn't think I had more than 30 different colours. That was quite a surprise. I mean, I suppose there is, or there may be, 447, which is the amount of uh, the DMC numbers. There may be an AB for every single colour, I'm not sure. Um, I was thinking that there'd just be maybe like one or two reds, one or two blues. I didn't realise that there would be so many. How silly and naive am I? All right, let's see. This looks a very big fat packet. Let's see whether these are put in. I don't think they will. And I think I'm going to need another bottle. But I have got a couple spare on this. Yeah, I'm going to need a second bottle. So let me just grab my labels. Which I just happen to have handy. Put the lid on that one quick so I don't knock those over. So that's limiting how many I'm going to be throwing around. And oops. Grab my Scotty pen. So this is number eight. And it is nine three eight. And shall we draw a little triangle on it as well? I can draw triangles. <laughs> I may not be brilliant at drawing some things, but I can draw a triangle. So, and then I will use these first and get those out of the way. All right, so pop 
those in there. Okay. I love these. These are actually uh, nail varnish lipstick holders. And you can put your pens or whatever in there as well, or even your scissors when you're working. But I just like these. Just if you've got a few colours and you just I prefer working from these than working from bags. I'm no good at when you seal up a bag with sellotape because I get it stuck everywhere and it just never seems to work for me. So <laughs> Yeah, I prefer to put them into uh, little bottles, even if it does mean kitting up. But it doesn't take long. It's not too difficult to do. And it means I can have a quick chat while I'm doing it. Ooh it's all going here no they won't oh no i'm not gonna need another bottle yes i am oh right so this one is number nine that's me trying to be clever i thought they would all go in there but they're not going to get rid of that so that's number nine and it's one of those things whatever that is and it's dmc 975 Okay, so we'll put that on there. I think there's only one more that looks like it's quite fat. So we'll just uh, tip a few of those out so it's not quite so full. So that's that one done. And I may as well tip those into there and put them in the bottle from the tray in the hope that I don't spill them. Oops. Da -da 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 -da. Get in, get in, get in. Yes. So just a few extra there. But it's better to do it that way because uh, you can end up losing drills and spilling them. Right, so next is 3033. Which is a very pale colour. And again, a very big bag with not a lot in it. I wonder what our dustmen think when they empty our dustbins. And they see all these funny little packets in them because I bet they don't all go straight in the back of the van. I should think some might blow around or they might see them and think, what on earth is that from? Unless, of course, they're partners, they're diamond painters, or they are diamond painted themselves, in which case they will know exactly what they are. And they will think, oh, a fellow diamond painter. Right, will these go in here? not as full as I thought it was actually so they may actually all fit we'll see we will see okay in getting yeah yay they've all fitted look it's a little bit full but I think we're going to be okay with that got one escapee there and just get that one in oh oh we've got a, a white one has got in there we'll get that out when we start down and painting we can pick that out the tray when we do it okay Three seven eight two. These look quite uh, empty-ish. These bags, so we're not going to need any more bottles. So that's not bad. Okay, put that one in there. Oops. And I think I can hear her hubby downstairs starting to move around. So I will finish this one off, and then I will pop down and make sure he's okay. And I would think he'll need feeding. It's coming to that time of day again. <laughs> See what we're having for tea. Friday night tea. We always used to have fish on a Friday. But I don't know whether we we'll fancy fish because we had fish earlier in the week. So might be something different. See what he fancies. We've still got loads of food in the freezer left over from Christmas. So... We still haven't had a proper Christmas dinner yet. Um, he's not really felt like it. He's not really had an appetite. Um, he's got to have some tests on his tummy as well. So at the moment, he's not eating a huge amount, but I'm just letting him have whatever he fancies, which is good because it's usually something nice and it means I can have something nice as well. <laughs> okay. So that's that one. Um that go in that bag we ask ourselves <laughs> come on get in will it go in it might do it might do that would be handy if it does oh yes it does so let me just pop that on top then 
sorry about the crinkling. Okay, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this one. So that would go in a bag. So these all different colours. No, so that's 310. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I may use my other um, set of bottles like this for this one, but I will let you know once I've done that. But I am going to go because Cubby is cobbling me. So I need to get sorted out for whatever he's wanting. But yeah, so that is two out of my three cushion covers fitted up. I've done my hummingbird. Oops, not my tiger yet. And my owl. I think I'm probably going to do the owl first because I just love those eyes. I think it's so sweet. And it looks so pretty with the ABs in as well. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little chat. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, if you leave them in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed seeing this video, if you can give me a thumbs up, that's always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button, and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.